Praise is the highest form of prayer. Yes, it is. Okay? Praise is the highest form of prayer there is. So yes. don't skip it. Don't skip it. We want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Uh, Pastor Jose and Patricia here. We want to uh, welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Big. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, a place where we honor God. Yes. We love families. We serve one another. And we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. So prepare yourselves to receive. He always, he always has something for us. Yes, he does. We need to have the right attitude. Have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Say, thank you, Father. You have something for me. Yes. I want you to talk to me. Amen. Amen. He never, never, never wants to just go without saying something. He wants to say something to you. Yes. You don't go visit somebody and walk in there and walk out and never say a thing. Huh. A lot of times we go visit him yeah. and just dump on him and take off. <laughs> he doesn't want it to be that way. That's right. He wants you to stay and meditate. Sometimes we don't have to say anything. Yeah. He already knows. Yeah. He already knows. Amen. So praise God. Anyway, be ready. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. Yeah. Sometimes we get convicted. He wants to change us. <coughs> Whatever it is, let him do it. Amen? Amen. Praise God. We want to start. Before we get any further, grab your swords. Soldiers yeah. of God, grab your swords. Yes. This is my sword. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. I don't want to be the same. I want to change from glory Amen. to glory. Not from sadness to sadness. Not from bad to bad, but from glory to glory. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, it's the first month of the year, oh, and wow. we're going to be talking again. I want to encourage you as we start the, as we start off this new year to change the way we talk yeah. because we've been hurting ourselves. Your biggest problem, I tell you all the time, is when you stand in front of the mirror and you're looking at this nice-looking person in front of you. <laughs> You got to deal with this person because this person yeah. has brought you down. This person has put you where you're at. It's got time to change. You know what? A lot of time, most of the time, is the things we say. Yeah. Amen. I have some handouts. Some of you already have your handouts. Don't throw them away. Use them wisely. God has given it to me. I give it to you. It's His. Yeah. It's about Him and His Word, okay? And He wants to bless you. He wants to change you. He just wants to encourage you. We're starting yeah. off the new year. We're starting off the first month. So we want to start off with the bang. <laughs> we closed the old one with the bang. Yes. We want to start off the new one with yes. the bang. How is this? We've been Praise talking God. about having passion, having love, having passion and compassion for Him. Amen. For Him. Amen. And serve Him with passion. Amen? Not just, uh, well, you know, once in a while, you know, hey, I come to the church, uh, you know, at the end of the year. And on Christmas, I went to Christmas and uh, Easter. <laughs> no, we want to come and fellowship with Him all the time. Yes, yes. The church is preparing yes. yourself to receive it then because He's yes. got something for us. Um, <laughs> I've told you this before. I used to be, um, let me see how I want to say this. <laughs> um, I used to get high. I used to... Um, be addicted. There you go. You used to be addicted and get high on sports. No boy. <laughs> I'm a sports freak. Okay? I mean, yeah. everything I did was sports, 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 sports. Patricia can tell you, if I had TVs, I'm recording everything, and I'm going to keep up, and I want to let everybody know what the latest sports are. I was mm -hmm. ESPN in, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before they had ESPN. <laughs> I do everything that happens. Y'all neglected God. But I, I was addicted to sports. A few minutes ago, I was in there. If you wonder what I was doing in there, I wasn't asleep. Yeah. I'm just pacing back and forth. It reminded me, one of my favorite sports is boxing. And you're like a boxer, you know, just waiting. Can't wait to get in that ring, you know. Uh -huh. Can't wait to get in that ring, you know. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to get beat or so you're going to beat somebody. But I can't wait to get in that ring, amen. Mm -hmm. Just like the Kentucky Derby. A horse, a racehorse. We're just ready. 
you can see them at the gate, you know. That's why they trap them in there, because they ready to go. Amen. I was ready to go. God did something for me. You know, I thank the praise team because they prepare you to receive. Amen. Amen. They prepare you to receive. If you're not receiving anything, it's time to take a look at yourself and say, <laughs> you better wake up. You know, the time is now. You let the praise, the praises go up. Man. You know, when Jesus wanted, when they wanted them walls and drag go to come down, what did they do? They praise. When they wanted that red sea to part, you know, Moses didn't say, oh my God, what did I do now? <laughs> that red sea parted. They praise. They seek God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't seek Him for last. Seek Him first. Mm -hmm. And we would be talking about getting our priorities in order. First month. Yeah. First month of the year. Get your priorities in order. Serve Him first. Seek Him first. So seek what? The kingdom of God first. Seek Him first. And all these other things shall be added on to you. Yes. But we got to get our words right. We got to get our priorities right. Amen. Yes. Let me tell you. Spent 20 plus years in military and they have priorities. They have orders. And you better follow those priorities. Okay. And you better follow those orders. Yeah. Amen. So I know about getting my priorities in order. And right now, in God's army, your first priority should be seek Him first. Yes. Him first. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> Lord has given me something to give you. And before we even get into our lesson, as a matter of fact, our lesson today is going to be. Be a passionate follower. Be a passionate believer. Part two. Amen. Okay. If you weren't here last week, <laughs> we'll, we'll catch you up Amen. in a few minutes. We'll do a quick review. But, you know, as pastor, um, sometimes I hear the sheep <laughs> and I go out. Bless you. I go out and I hear what's going on. And you know, uh, you hear that, well, Mainly, this eye gate, our eye gates, our ear gates, we see things and we hear things and we let it in. And the enemy is busy because the enemy attacks the mind. The battlefield is the mind and we fight a spiritual battle. So we need to be spiritually strong in order to be ready. Amen? Amen. And I'm telling you this because I keep hearing this. I keep hearing us magnifying the problem more than we're magnifying our God. Amen. And we need to get away from that. And you know how you do that? The words you release are words. And I'm going to read to you what I gave you. The handout says, Jesus, well, the main thing going on around right, right now is, have you heard of the latest flu? It's always the latest sickness, the latest flu. And you know this thing is really, really bad, you know? And every time they say something new, it's like, well, maybe, I wonder if Jesus covered that with the stripes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's new, you know? It's a new thing, you know? It's a, it's, a, it's a new thing. So you have to know what the Word of God says when you know your God, when you know the Word says the truth is going to set you free. free man. Yeah. Amen. When you get full of the word, faith is going to take over. Mm -hmm. And fear is going to come out. Fear needs to come out. You know what fear is? False evidence appearing real. That's right. Faith needs to take over. When you start to step it out, you're going to step out in faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise when God. Jesus told Peter, come, <laughs> Peter could have said, <laughs> it's water. I can't walk on water. <laughs> How am I going to walk on water? You want me to come over there? Well, you know, but you step out in faith Amen. when he says come. And he's telling me right now, yeah. come, come. Your little hand out says what? Jesus is my healer. healer. No matter what my body says, what's my body saying? My body is crying and saying, I'm sick. I don't feel good. And your body's telling you all kinds of things. Mm. Uh, what people are saying, people are saying, you know, there's sickness going around. There's flu going around. The world is saying, what's the world saying? They're saying, you know, there's a new thing. There's a new sickness. There's a new thing. Always a new thing. Mm -hmm. So what do I say? I trust Jesus to heal me yes. and bless me with vibrant health and overflowing joy. Amen. Amen. I didn't stop there. Let's keep reading. It says, have a healing scripture. Have a healing scripture, have a healing scripture and scripture. if... You don't have a list. I'm sorry about those that are watching, those that are listening. We have a list right over here on the rack. Healing scriptures. Tell them to write us. We'll send them one. Write us. We'll send you one. 
healing scriptures or you go to your Bible. We've got these from the Bible. I just put it on a list so you can have it so you can go and read it. Healing scriptures. I want to pray for healing. Well, Lord, your word says, 1 Peter 2.24, by your stripes I'm healed. So I'm standing on your word. So I'm believing for my healing. Amen. So bring it on. I receive it. I receive it because his word says it. So let's not talk the problem. It says it. Healing scripture or a scripture that applies to the situation you're going through. What situation are you going through? You need a job? Find you a scripture that says that. Lord, I'm standing on your word. And your word does not fail. Amen. Amen. Before you pray, stand on his word. Magnify him before you magnify the problem. Amen. He will bring it to pass. Yes. Amen. I'm trusting him because his word is going to set me free. Amen. And I have a scripture there for you. It says, death and life are what? In the power of the tongue. Words you speak. Words you speak. I gave you a handout uh, a few days back that says, let's see if I can find it. There's so many. Words are containers for power. You choose what kind of power they carry. You choose. You're going to give it life or you're going to give it death. Yeah. We're walking around saying I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Confess what the Word of God says about you. Amen. Amen. Be positive. Have the right attitude. <laughs> An attitude of gratitude. Amen. And this is from the Amplified. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The words you speak. And those who love it and indulge in it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of the Word. Of their words. Their words. Yes. Their words. Yeah. And I wrote at the bottom, I closed it with this. The power is in the tongue. Uh -huh. The words you release. So confess the right words. We're starting a new year. This is the first month. So let's change our vocabulary. Let's change our language. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. you can have what you say. Just yeah. because you hear so-and-so uh -huh. uh -huh. say it. All right. Doesn't make it right. That's right. So why go confess the wrong things over your life? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You don't want to do that. No. Remember the I am list. How many of you remember the I am list? Yes. And the say so. Hallelujah, man. This is I'm blessed already. Praise God. Your say so. Change your say so. Let me listen to this. I encourage you this year to send your words in a positive direction. Speak positive confessions over your life by choosing to change. Your say so. I say, I am blessed. Yes. I am a winner. Yes. But the world keeps saying you're a loser. Mm. The world keeps saying you're no good. Mm. You keep hearing these things. But that's the old person. Yeah. I'm a yeah. new person in Christ. Amen. Saint Corinthians five seventeen. Yes. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person. Forget about that. Just let it go. It says that's for somebody else. That's not for me. So I say so. Says the Word of God. Says I'm blessed. I'm. Uh, I, I am. I'm a winner, I'm prosperous, I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm talented, I'm creative, I'm faithful, I'm focused, I'm attractive. Yes, hallelujah. I am an overcomer. I'm just reading this. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm well liked. I'm fun to be around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The right people are in my future. God's going to bring them. The yes. right opportunities are headed my way. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I will accomplish my dreams. I will overcome every obstacle. Mm -hmm. This is the year of my breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I have God's favor. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. We need to change this. We, yeah. we, we need to speak the word. Yes. We need to speak the word. I don't care who's saying what. If you don't stir yourself up. Uh -huh. And you don't speak these things over yourself. Who is going to? That's Nobody's right. going to. The world's not. That's right. There's jealous people out there. They don't want to see you succeed. You ever seen that? <laughs> I love crabbing. I go on crabbing. You put them in this big bucket. And some of them try to work their way up. As soon as they get almost to the top, the rest of them just bring you down. <laughs> you see yourself at the top. And guess what? People are going to want to bring you down. Yeah, yeah. They don't want you to go up. They don't That's want you right. to succeed. They don't. Amen. God wants to bless you. Yes, he You're does. blessed by the best. Yes. He's the best. <coughs> Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. But Thank you, Lord. People don't like this. Uh-uh. So you know what? When you do something, 
Just say, Lord, I'm doing this to you. And I'm going into this world. And there's a lot of giants out there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ungrateful people out there. Oh, my but I'm doing this under you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to say thank you. Sometimes you got to smile. Sometimes, sometimes you got to say some things that you don't want to say. <laughs> but God, what would Jesus do? Huh? Mm -hmm. What would Jesus do? You know, sometimes, and we've said this many times, you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be around. That's right. Amen. They may not ever open a Bible or see a Bible, but they'll see you. Uh -huh. And you're the closest thing to that Bible they'll ever see. Yeah. So watch your words, watch your actions. First month of a year. So let's be ready for God. Let's be ready for Jesus. He wants yes. to use you. He wants yes. to use all of us. Yes, Amen. Here's your I am list. If you didn't see one, <laughs> here's one. I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I'm forgiven. I'm saved uh -huh. by grace through faith. Yes. I'm justified. I'm sanctified. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. And there's scriptures by them, you know? <laughs> Somebody asked me this question the other day. Do we have to read the scriptures too? <laughs> no, they didn't read what was on there. It says, if you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then all these covenant promises from the Word of God belong to you. I encourage you to look each scripture up and then agree with the Word of God. Amen. Speak them over yourself daily, especially in facing hard times. They will become a part of you. As you do and your faith grows, you will witness your life take a turn for the best. Amen. Amen. How many of you want the best? Yes. He wants the best Hallelujah. for you. Amen. He wants the best for you. He yes. wants you to change. He don't want you to go the same all the time. You know, we talk about insanity. What's insanity? Mm -hmm. It's doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. Well, you're still doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. we, we have to change. And one of the best things to do is change the way you speak. Mm -hmm. Change the words you speak. <laughs> Don't be hung by the tongue. Mm -hmm. Because once it's out, it's going to produce. It's a seed that you're sowing uh -huh. in your life. And it's yeah. going to happen. And you're going to grow some things you don't want to grow. That's right. Amen. So be careful. Be aware. And just know Pastor loves you. And uh, we need to change these things. Amen. Yeah. Praise, Praise God. God. So we have healing scriptures. Don't confess the problem. Don't magnify your problem. Magnify God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And we're talking about. Well, you know, we have seasons for everything. And winter is always a season to be sick. Oh. <laughs> Why do we have to be sick? We don't have to be sick. Amen? Well, we don't have to be broke. We don't have to be whatever. Amen? Amen. Have an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Amen? Know your God. And know the truth. Amen? Listen to this. We have this um, prayer. It's a prayer. We have it on the rack over there. And it's talking about health and healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess your word concerning healing. As I do this, I believe, I say, your word mm -hmm. will not return to you void. That's right. I will accomplish what it says. It will accomplish what it says it will do. Therefore, yeah. I believe in the name of Jesus that I am healed according to 1 Peter 2.4. By his stripes you're healed. It is written in your word that Jesus himself took our infirmities and bore our sickness. Therefore... I will, with great boldness and confidence, I say on the authority of the written word that I am redeemed from the curse of sickness. I refuse to tolerate symptoms. I give no place to sickness or Satan in my body. Mm -hmm. and, and in case, in case you don't know what to tell Satan, I have a prayer for him or something written for him. Say, so yeah. Satan. I, and you can take the I and scratch it and just put your name in there. Yes. It says I, Jose, <laughs> speak to you in the name of Jesus. And I say to your principality, pow your powers, your spirits who rule the present darkness and your spiritual wickedness in heavenly places are bound from operating against me in any way. I am the property of Almighty God. Amen. I give you no place. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. I will abide and remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, Amen. whose powers no foe can withstand. That's, right. That's not the end of it. It keeps on going. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
But see, these things, don't go around just confessing what you've heard mm -hmm. and what's going on out there. If it's not going to magnify your right. God, if it's not going to be any good for yourself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't receive that. You know, when people see you around happy and smiling, and everybody else is sad, they want to know why are you smiling? Yeah. Why are you smiling? Everybody else is sick. Everybody else is sad. Why are you smiling? And now they come to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm a child of God. Yeah. And I am healed oh, yeah. by his stripes. And you yeah. can have the same thing. Yeah. For God so loved the world, he gave yeah. us Jesus. Yes. And Jesus came and was sacrificed for all of us. Amen. He says, by his stripes you're healed. When you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Yes. From the bondage of this world. From whatever's holding you down. Mm -hmm. From whatever's coming against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They want to come, they'll come to you and ask. They'll come to you and ask. Now it's up to you to be Christ-like and be an imitator of Christ and say, it's because of Jesus. Yes. He gets the glory. I don't get the glory. I'm not seeking his glory. I'm just a messenger. Amen. But he gives me a word to yes. say. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you say, you know, Jesus died for the same people that you might hate, the same people that you might not care for, mm -hmm. the same Jesus <laughs> died for them. Yeah. And you got to know we are to go into the world yeah. and share his word. Amen. Amen. Let me let me read you this. I didn't, I, I didn't read this to you, but we're talking about the healing scriptures. Uh -huh. Healing scriptures. Mark 16, 17, and 18. You mark it down, you go and read it. But it says, And these signs shall follow follow those who believe. How many believers in here? Yes. Let me see your hand. Praise now, God. Every hand yeah. should, should yeah. be up. Okay? Hallelujah. These signs will follow those who believe. That's you and me. Amen. These signs, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. recover. Yeah. So, child of God, <laughs> if there's somebody around you that's not well, <laughs> says lay hands on them. Well, I don't know how to pray real well. You know, I, I'm not as good as pastor. Well, I'm not as good as brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so that can pray forever, you know. <laughs> it didn't say that. It just says lay hands lay on the hands. saints. That's right. That anointing is going to flow through. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're just that vessel. God's using to flow through. It says lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. I'm in faith. By faith, I'm going to lay hands on you. And you're going to recover. Why not? Because of me. Because I'm being obedient to the word of God. Because of him. By his stripes. Amen. And so, these signs will follow. You know, <laughs> when you're down in, down in the dumps and you allow yourself to, in that uh, little pity party, get yourself out of that comfort zone. Get yourself out of that dumps, you know. And just say, hey, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. These signs follow me. Yes. You know? It also says <laughs> that you have authority over the enemy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's time to stop him, stop running from him. It's time to put him on the run. He's a defeated foe. You got to let him know, but you got to tell him he's so dumb he don't know. <laughs> Amen? Uh, that's right. so, <laughs> so these are the signs that follow in you. And you know what? God has only one favorite child. Oh. That's me, if you don't know. Come on. No, Come on. no you ain't the only one. You. Yeah. It's you. That's right. You're his favorite. Amen? Uh -huh. So if you're his favorite child, he's got you here. He wants to use you. That's right. He wants to use you. He says you can do all things through me. Yeah. Who strengthens you. You need strength? Just seek him. He's going to give you the strength you need. Amen. You've got it in you. It's going to flow out of you. It's going to come out of you. We're not given a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound. Amen. 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 You've got it in you. You just got to let it out. You know what? I was going to bring me a Coke can and I forgot. <laughs> I was going to scare somebody. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but I tell you, the greater one is in you. And he says, stir yourself up. You stir a can of Coke. And everybody around you is going to move aside because they know what's going to happen. We used to do this to each other when we was growing up. You pop it open and you go spray somebody. Or you just have fun. But you stir yourself up with the word. You stir yourself yes. up in him. And that word is going to flow out of you. It says yeah. out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. It's in you. But you got 
to release it. Amen. You can't hold it in. That's right. You can't hold it in. It's got to come out. Yes. Because words go out and accomplish. Yes. Amen. Carriers Praise of life God. or death. Amen. But you, I'm, I'm releasing my words with life. Amen. Amen. They don't get life. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Five minutes. <laughs> I got five minutes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not going to get in too much into this, but we close with a bang and we open with a bang. Yes. With a winning attitude, never go soaring with eagles, not scratching with the chickens. We see ourselves below average. We don't even see ourselves average. We see ourselves below average. Uh -huh. He wants you to go past that all the way up. He says, I want you soaring. As eagles. Yes, amen. amen. As eagles, not scratching with the chickens. Uh -huh. Amen. He bless us to be a blessing. So we are to partake. Set priorities right. Uh, set your right priorities daily. Seek uh -huh. him first. Amen. <laughs> you can write this down. There's no more excuses. Yes. This is a walk of life, whether you're driving it or walking it. Uh -huh. If you happen to to pass an excuse. If you happen to see an excuse, oh, my goodness. don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. We have enough for life already. Mm -hmm. Don't pick it up. No more excuses. Right. <laughs> As pastor, <laughs> I can make all kind of excuses not to be here. Mm -hmm. But he knows. Mm -hmm. I am here every chance I get. Every time I get. Amen. The only time I missed was uh, we went to a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So no more excuses. Mm -hmm. God's not looking. Listen, I don't care who told you. You know this so and so guy, this mm -hmm. so and so person. Mm -hmm. God's not looking for perfect people. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you ever read your Bible and you say, "Wow, Moses, this hero, uh, Noah, these Bible heroes," you know, uh, whoever your hero happens to be. <laughs> None of these Bible heroes were perfect. That's right. The Bible says that David was a man after God's own oh, heart. heart. Yes. Yes. But then again, he had somebody killed. Uh -huh. He committed adultery. You know? So, there's no perfect people out there. But God wants to use you. Yes, he does. How am I going to make myself available? I need to make myself available. Lord, you know me. I'm just making me myself available to you. Amen? I'm making myself available to you. I got five minutes. Let's go to Colossians 3, 23 and 24. I'll read you one scripture before we stop. <laughs> Golly. Boy, the five minutes is growing. <laughs> yeah. How many give me five minutes? Come on. Okay. Like five times 15, 20. What is that? <laughs> Turn me in like this. Colossians what? 3, 23 and 24. 3, 23 and 24. Amen. 3, 23. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Colossians 3, chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. Yes. Okay? Knowing that the Lord ye shall receive your reward of the inheritance. For ye serve who? The, the Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. And 25. <coughs> but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong what he has or what he has done. And there is no there is no respect of person. That's right. Amen. So if you're going to do it, settle it down. Just say, Lord, I'm doing it unto you. Yeah. Because if you're doing it for them, mm -hmm. and you see their attitudes, and you see their ways, I said, I'm not having anything to do with this. If you're going to work, and if you're going to serve the Lord, you're going to have to, as we sung the song a few minutes ago, you're going to surrender all. Mm -hmm. you got to surrender yourself all completely. Amen. It says, Step off the throne yeah. and let God, Jesus, yeah. get on the throne. Amen. Amen. He deserves to be there. Yes. Amen. And just say, here I am. Use me. Amen. He wants to use you. But you have to spend time with him, open the word, and seek his word, and get the word in you. When you get the word in you, it's, it's going to come out. Yeah. As needed, it's going to yes. come out. It's there. Yes. It's there. Amen. Let me see, let me say it like this. You see, find the right quick for you. 
Stir yourself up. Yeah. 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7 says, let me, let me read it to you from this, uh, from this version. 2 Timothy 1, chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. And this is why I want you to remember the gift God gave you. God gave you this gift, that gift, when I laid my hands on you. Uh -huh. Now I want you to use that gift and let it grow more and more. Like a small flame grows into a fire. The Spirit of God gave us does not make us afraid. His Spirit is a source of power and of love and of self-control. Amen. The King James says, For God has given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. That gift is in you. Yeah. And that gift is in you. And listen, when you do the stirring up, yeah. listen, Jesus is in you. Yes. The love is in you. The faith is in you. Yes. The power is in you. Yes. It's up to you and me to get stirred up and release yes. it. Yes. Don't yes. bottle it. Don't Praise hold it. God. Release it. Yes. It's in you. And don't say, well, I'm not good enough. He'll never use me. Uh. <laughs> you know, I ain't got what it takes. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. You got to stop seeing yourself that way. And you stop, need to start seeing yourself. Put your Jesus glasses on. Amen. My love and compassion glasses on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I see the world. Amen. And you see him through his eyes. Yeah. With his love and his passion and compassion for him. Amen. Yeah. So now you can do what? Some things. All things. All things. Through, all things through him who yeah. strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So I'll close with that. And those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, you have needs. If you never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior now, so all you have to say is, Lord, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And he will. He never turns nobody away. That's you right. know that Robert that died on the cross with him or was at the cross with him? He didn't go through all the 20 steps or 30 steps that you have to go through to get saved. That's right. He just says, I recognize you as Jesus. You're my Lord and Savior. And he says, today you will be with you in paradise. But you didn't get baptized. You didn't get this. You didn't get that. No, Jesus says, all you need to do is confess it. It means you have to speak him with yeah. your words. Yeah. You have to confess him with your words and speak his word and say, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And today then you'll be saved. Amen. Amen. Just go up with a church where you can go in as alive and teaching the word of God. Amen. So praise God. If you need healing in your body, just touch that part of your body and say, By Jesus stripes, I'm healed. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father, for meeting all these needs. Yes. And we're done. In Jesus' name. Amen.